For the first time in nearly 20 years, a Palm Beach County judge and jury have sentenced someone to death. Marlon Joseph will be heading to death row for murdering his girlfriend and her 11-year-old daughter back in 2017. CBS 12's Danielle Wall has reaction tonight from the victim's family. It's a feeling of numbness tonight, knowing that their cousin's killer will be sentenced to death. They say they support this sentence, but they know it will not replace what they've lost. It's not bitter, it's not sweet, it's neither one. Kevlin Fedrick says the only justice in this case would be getting his cousin Kalata Crowell and her 11-year-old daughter Kyra back. Instead, their killer will head to death row after a judge affirmed a jury's death sentence, the first capital punishment sentence in Palm Beach County since 2002. Legal analysts call it a particularly heinous crime. Marlon and Collada were arguing in their West Palm Beach home about Kyra's attitude. That's when Marlon grabbed a gun. When you talk about those horrific, heinous facts, murdering uh, a mother in the presence of her own child and then chasing that child out in the street like a dog and shooting her five times, I believe it was three shots in the head. Um, those are gruesome facts. And, you know, when you commit an offense like that, you are the poster child for the death penalty. Joseph was convicted several months ago, but his sentencing was delayed due to the pandemic. The death penalty process could take even longer if there are appeals. It could be decades before an execution. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Danielle Waugh, CBS 12 News.